Now it's time to talk about the decibel. It's very common in the audio world, so let's understand that. The decibel is a tool that we use to measure the large variations of pressure or of voltage. So in the audio world, in the world of sound, we need you know, a special unit to handle these large uh, ranges. And that's why the decibel was invented. It's a logarithmic ratio of two quantities. It could be power, voltage, pressure, etc. So, uh, in general, we can say that the dB, or decibel, indicates the gain of a stage, the gain of an amplifier, or maybe a processor, and so it's measured in dBs. This is a very important concept. Zero dB means unity gain. This means there's no boost nor attenuation on the signal. It's, you know, like a, a flat equalizer, like a neutral system, zero dB. So zero dB means something important. It's not a null quantity, you know. On the other hand, positive dBs mean boost on the signal, an increase in the energy. And negative dBs mean an attenuation on the signal, that, that is less energy. So we can have positive, negative dBs and zero dBs, and they all are important. So what's the practical meaning of, of a dB measured? In this case, here we have these uh, faders from a mixing console, a mixing board, and this fader is around zero dB. So it means it won't change the gain of that channel, unity gain. This fader has around five dB boost. So it means that there is an increment in the energy of that uh, channel. This fader, has a decrement attenuation around 10 dB. It doesn't show a minus 10 dB, but it should be understood as a minus 10 dB in this case. And this is a special case. On the bottom of the fader, we can see a minus infinite dB. It's kind of funny maybe, but it means infinite attenuation. So in other words, the signal is muted. So as you can see, the zero is not uh, on the bottom, the zero is near the top of the fader, and that's the place that we're going to set our fader. So in the audio world, zero doesn't mean no sound. Zero means, you know, unity gain. And if you want no sound, then you should go for infinite attenuation. So it's a little technical, but, but it's very important. Now, uh, let's try to understand a little bit more about the decibels. 3 dB is an important uh, amount. 3 dB is twice the power, I mean twice the energy in a signal, and it's barely noticeable. It's not a lot of change, you know. It may sound a lot of change, you know, twice the power. You may think it's twice the loudness, but that's not the case. Uh, for your ear, 3 dBs are barely heard, okay? okay? Now, minus 3 dB would be half the power, but it's not have the loudness. We have to understand that our ear is not linear, so have the power is not have the loudness. It's a little strange at first uh, to understand this. So if we want twice the loudness, uh, then we need more dB. We need around 10 dB. 10 dB are heard as twice the loudness, and uh, minus 10 dB would be around half the loudness. So if we remember our fader, in the last image, 10 dB boosting would represent twice the loudness. And lastly, 60 dB, which sounds like not too much, well, it will be equals to multiply the power one million times. 60 dB is a lot, a lot of energy. So uh, we have to be aware of this because there are some uh, consoles or some preamps, some equipment would have maybe 50 dB, 60 dB gain. Well, that's a lot of gain. But it's what we need in the audio world when we are dealing with these uh, electrical signals and we need a lot of energy, a lot of change. And that's why we use decibels instead of saying million times or thousands of times. We just say 60 dB, 40 dB, 10 dB. It's more practical.